Good evening and welcome back to the Moonlight server. We are here looking at the way. Whoa, that was close. Hang on, hold on. This is a very interesting viewpoint, isn't it? I like it. I like the way my arms and legs. <laughs> my arms and legs look really funny. <laughs> I look like a like a four-legged spider or something. Oh, I got to be careful. All right, let's go down into the base. There we go. Oh, perfect. My neck. My neck is very clean. Whoa! Super zoom. So we come through. And... Ah. 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 Why can't I get through? There we go. We got through. Um, I don't want anything in here anyway. Let's leave. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. All right. I'm going to come out of this view now because it's making me want to throw up everywhere. So... Today, we are going to be working a little bit more on our base. It's night time now, I forgot. This is the one problem with with saying good evening <laughs> every episode. It means I have to begin the episode at night, which usually then means dangerousness outside. But yes, I will get on with it and fight people as we speak. We are going to be making not this dome. Eventually we will. Ah, leave me. But not right now. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I don't want to build a dome. If ouch, I don't know what is going inside. I think that's a, that's a fair point. Um, I did have an idea, but it, it kind of didn't work. It was, yeah. I won't tell you. It's a surprise. Ow, I'm in the hole now. Perfect. Ouch, and I'm nearly dead. Right, okay, let me put some armor on. Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> Ow, I'm going to die. Yay. Run, 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 run. I'm not even healing. Oh dear, this has turned into badness. Eat food. Gain health. Creepy, don't get me. Okay, ha, ha, ha. Maybe I should come back in a in a, in a, in a half hour when I've, I've calmed down. Wait, and you'd be dead. Wow. No, no, you're little. You're little, you're little, and that makes things worse. Why can't I hit you? You're not hitting. Ow. Creep. <sighs> right. I'm going to be right back. Oh my yes! I whoa. Oh I almost died. Right, I really need a breather. Hold on. Well, if you ask me, <laughs> that was very scary, but very cool that that worked, and it worked brilliantly and in a rush. We were rushing when we did that and it worked, so there was actually I was thinking almost maybe mm, changing this whole Ender Pearl system thingy a little bit. Uh, that we sorted out last episode, but mm, after that, I'm thinking it, it's going to work. So, uh, yeah, we'll play with that when we've got another proper dome. But first of all, what I've done here is I've laid out these four... Oh, you can't see the other one. There. Prove. Proof. I wasn't lying. There are four of these little things here. And these mark where the corners... You heard it then, actually. Listen. Can you hear the portal noises? That's because that's the portal room. Obviously, I used to have a, a ladder about here or something like that, but I filled it in, and we've got the little back way now from my base there. But this is where the uh, four corners of that big portal room is. So, um, yeah, that's important to know, because what we want to do now is we want to build... I've forgotten how many. Um, I think it's five. Uh, let's say five. Five, shall we? Five. I'm going to build five mini domes, okay? Now, this one is our wheat dome. Well, wheat, carrot, and potatoes, really. This is our wheat, carrot, potato dome. I am going to build five mini domes that are all 13 diameter. So, from i.e. from this side to uh, that side there is going to be 13 blocks. It's only going to be a couple of blocks high. Can't remember how many. Little, few. And we're going to dot them around. And these ones won't be ender pearl to a ball from each other. If that makes any sense at all, which it probably doesn't, which is fine. So, they're going to have little nice walkways through, but they're going to be very claustrophobic. You'll see what we do. We're going to try and build one today at least, but, you know, we'll see how we go. So, if they're 13 by 13, we want to just lay out some kind of rough rough guidelines. So, from this one, we're going to have the next one about um, here. If we did that, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit too close. Okay, let's move it a little bit further away. Center. Center is going to be there. Give me the torches back. Torches are amazing for marking things out. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, I mean one, I mean, I mean, yeah, hang on, what, one, one, two, three, four, five, and a six. So that's a right angle of it. Uh, what do you? It's probably about right. Uh, about right. Kind of maybe there. I don't know. I forget. That is how big the next dome is gonna be. Now the trouble is, do I want it on a on a bank like that, or do I want them all on a flat? Hmm. I might make it on this level here, so I will ex I will add sand, sort of over here like that. Fill up that gap. Pretend that looks neater. And I will I will dig away some of this bank here. Um, I think that's probably the best thing. I would like these arches, they're not an arch, these domes to kind of go with the flow of the desert, as you can see. So, like, this this bit of here goes, and it goes uphill, and then, whoa, uphill, and then back over here, and then not downhill. But I want it to kind of be one with the desert, like sand dunes, almost. Now, I've made a right mess. I need to clean this up, and I'm going to get digging the outline of the hole, and we will see how deep we want to go with it. You want a sumo? Sumo wrestler. Let's be sumo wrestlers and get the first one out of the ring. Oh, let's lure. Punch, punchy, punch, punch. Ding, ding, ding. Zedaf is the winner. Congratulations, other people. Ouch. I did the hole. And we came into a little problem here. <laughs> this is our uh, underground path. Let me just jump down. Ugh, that really hurt. From our uh, base to the portal room. But this is temporary. Very, very temporary. And even if it wasn't going to be temporary... I actually should have built this path so that it went down some stairs there and came in uh, here in this wall. I don't know why I didn't do that, but never mind. Well, we can fix that up now anyway because we're going to have to remove this corridor or rather fill this corridor in uh, to carry on with what we're doing. But the next thing I want to do is add the dome on because it isn't a dome without a dome, of course. So, um, way, way, way. Look at him for fun. No, last time I did that in a live stream, everything went wrong in my life. I think he's gone. I think in in the in the summertime, I was going to say in the summer time, you can't really get hurt by them properly because they just teleport away everywhere. They go crazy, so it doesn't really matter. Now, dome. I am going to just try it because I always do this off the cuff. Let me have another block. I don't have another block. I'm going to waste glass. That's what I am. I'm a waster. Let's go. So that was one. One. Let's go two. And then let's go up again. And then let's go five. Five. One, one two, three, four, five. Yep. And then we're going to want to go down again. But instead of going down, we're going to go up from the other side. Because I can't go down as easily. So we went one, one, two. Perfect. Lots of wastage. Perfect. That's my my favourite thing to do in the world is waste materials. Oh, oh, nearly broke things. So there we go. That would be what the dome looks like. Is it the right shape? This one. Let's go next to this one. It's contact lens like, like that. I think so. I think that works. That does the trick for me. I like that. I'm going to carry on going all the way around the outside. My ladder's wrong. Well, that is in the wrong place. Though I am going to go and get some dirt blocks so I'm not wasting materials. But be right back when glass contact lens complete. And there we go. Glass completey bit. Done. Sorted. Great. It's got the right shape. It's perfect. It looks beautiful. It's baby and mother. Mother and baby. Or father and baby. That one... Maybe they're just brother and sister, actually. Just one's a bit younger than the other. Anyway, anyway. Enough of the family member talk. Now, we're going to have one here like that, and they, that will be connected with a, um, a corridor to that one from there, that little corner there. I don't want them in the sides, necessarily. So the, the pathway will come from this door down here, and it will sort of wind along and come through here. And come out where these chests are, somewhere around there. Um, then the next one, maybe we can wind... Uh, can't go that way. That way's off limits. Let's go this way. Maybe the next one middle could be here. And then the next one middle could be here. Maybe. And then the next one middle, the final fifth one. Have I counted right? One, two, three, four, and five. They can just wind through the desert like that. Maybe maybe in more of a straight line. Let me um let me get up high. Let me get up really super duper high. One second. Okay. Up super duper high. <laughs> B 
Big dome. Mummy dome. Even bigger dome. That dome is going to be humongous. Humongous. Mungus. Humongous. Stop making up words. <laughs> Let's get on with it. So baby dome there. Um, we're never going to actually see the portal room from above. So they could go in a curve like that. But I wanted them to be scattered around a little bit differently actually. So maybe we could put the next dome. Yeah, next dome here. Like I said. Uh, next dome over there. Next dome here. I don't want them to be too zigzaggy. I don't want them to zigzag. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just focus on getting this, this first mini dome sorted. And then we can... We can play around with the uh, the various positions of this, the the last bits of dome. So let me let me let me get down, and um, I'll show you what we're going to be kind of making the the inner bit of the dome look like a bit. Okay, here is what is in my mind. This room here is going to be a melon farm. Okay, it's going to be a very bad melon farm. It's not really going to farm many melons at all. It's going to be more for looks and. It will function, but not very, very well. But, you know, that's... I'm not all about efficiency. I'm about beauty and the look of things and the fun of things. So this is going to be a very fun room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like it. I've started setting up this kind of um, little sort of walkway through. This is this is what we're going to have. You're going to walk in the room, and most of the room isn't even going to be on the level you're on. We're going to have kind of a staircase that goes up here to kind of bring you out onto like this kind of height to walk around and there'll be a few dot melons dotted around everywhere there'll be like a button on the wall that you press and all the melons will explode and you can run around and collect them if you want and there'll be a chest somewhere that you can dump them in um, they won't collect automatically they will just harvest automatically with a button push thing so I'm gonna get some some grass going on the floor here whoops 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 I'm very stingy so I'm only gonna put one one of those down. Grow! Shablamo! And as if by magic, the entire floor has grown grass. <laughs> no, almost. I was uh, waiting and trying to make it um, all go, but I, I got very, very lazy. Or rather, um, impatient, that's the better word to use. And I, I just harvested it, so, I mean, what? <laughs> I just uh, gave up waiting and, and started uh, coming back on as well. So I think what we're going to use here... Um, our colour palette are, is are going to be um, jungle wood planks um, and sandstone and dirt and grass. Now, I don't actually want these walls to be completely uh, made of this. I think I want them to have a bit of a bit of this in, but kind of like a, a mix and match kind of thing. And uh, so a bit like that. Maybe this can go back up to two again. Uh, maybe we could have like a half slab there or something. Um, and what I was thinking of, so yeah, we'd have a staircase up here that goes to this higher up platform. Um, and I was thinking this higher up platform here could have a waterfall trickle down into this area here. We could have a little pond. Um, and then we'd need a bridge from this area to this little area over there. And um, if there was a bridge, if the bridge was here like that, it's going to be a little bit tight. So we might have to go down a little bit and and put some half slabs here so we actually drop down half a block and these could be half slabs as well and um, that'll obviously be the jungle wood because that's the only block in our pallet that we can make slabs of I'm lying sandstone you can do it well we'll see we'll see what it goes like but um I'll have a little play with that and I'll try and make quite a lot of progress now because we're, we're about halfway through the episode so halfway of it should be complete in my opinion let's do that make happen Here's what I've got so far. Looks a bit crazy from up here. That's that's good. That's a good thing. I like it. It's a little bit flat, but I've I've got a I've got a thing that I'm gonna do later on to kind of um, bulk it out a bit. So down here, this is what it looks like when we come in. We come under the uh, the little bridge here. We got some some leafy lights. Uh, we come down. This is where the waterfall is gonna be, and there's gonna be a hidden little room under the waterfall as well. Um, and then up here, we've got some stairs that come up and round over the bridge and this is where the water is going to be so we'll pop the water in and get some uh, water buckets back and fill them up again now is there any way I can make that more interesting let's have a go if I put a block there and then get rid of it that's much better okay give me it stuck in my own waterfall okay perfect there we go. 
Much more interesting looking waterfall. Very pretty. Very nice. I like it. Um, up here I was going to have a little water thing as well. Just a tiny little pond. Um, might extend it actually. I wonder if I can. Yep. Sure can. Let me just get out of it again. Water is horrible. It sticks. It's like prison. I feel like I'm in prison. Ah. <sighs> Okay, um, and we'll pop a lily pad on both of those. Um, pop it there, why not? That's good, but I was wondering if maybe... Even better, maybe. Is that better? Come back, block. What about if we did that as well? Weird. That looks weird. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh dear, right, everything wrong, everything wrong in the world, restart the whole episode from scratch. That's what I've got to do. Let's come back up here, let's um, block it off, fix yourself, leave please, go away. Okay, let it flow, we do that one again, that's good. Give back, and we do that one, I liked that change. No in the wall! Come back. Right. Perfect. Good. Leave it. No more touch. No leave. Phew. Okay. Good. <sighs> right. Okay. What else did we have? I had a pot because there was this little shelf up here. I think I'm going to I'm gonna use ferns. Fer a fern. Whoa. Don't break it. I meant to point. That was a strong point. Okay. We're going to actually get the uh, melons planted now. So I've worked out that there's probably about room uh, for six of them. If I put them there... Um, we could have another one down here. Not you. Another one there. Trample. Eh. Eh. Turn back into grass for me, please. Um, another one there. How about... Another one here? Mm -hmm. Ah. And another one there. And that's great. Six. Six of them. Now, I do want to... At the moment, this could grow here, here, or here. Now, I want to stop that happening... Um, but I want to stop it subtly. I don't want to be, like, blatant that I that's what I'm doing. I also just realised, look, I need to replace that. Look at that. That's clever, isn't it? That was clever of me. I didn't notice that before. Is there anything else that did that? That's all right. Now, I think all these ones are fine. They wouldn't have cobble or anything nearby them, so that's good. Phew. Look, it can actually fall down there as well. That's quite nice. I like that it's still open. It doesn't... It doesn't feel like too underground here, even even though you sort of are a bit. But the main feature I would like to build, if I don't trample things first, is a big tree. A handmade tree, and it's going to grow right out from that centre bit there, so we can really, really see the whole stump. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to blossom. Give me, give me leaves. It's going to blossom from there into a beautiful tree. Um, I'm going to do that off camera because, again, that is going to be crazy breaking blocks and placing more and this and that and everything. And, yeah, I don't want to make you witness to that. And hopefully these melons will grow and I will, um, I'll get some of them, them ferns as well. Also these. Azure, Azure, Azure Bluet. Azure Bluet. Blut, Bluté. That's what I'm going to call them from now on. They sound very French. I wonder if they are French. I'll try and look that up as well. These go very well with the colour scheme too, so I'm going to dot these around um, and dot some uh, ferns and maybe even some long grass we can use to, st to make these only grow in one place. Like here, look, this could grow there or there. That could just only grow there, that's fine. This could grow there or there. We want to stop it growing in two places and only have it, whoops, glowing in, glowing, glowing in one. Let's, let's keep it as that. <laughs> I will see you in a minute with another progress update. And I'm just going to stare at the wall because I'm falling off everything. Shaboop. There we go. Almost done. There was one last thing. These three bits of cobble under the fountain here. I want to moss them. Be mossed. Come to me. And what we can do now is easily we can... Uh, ooh, music. We can make moss stone with uh, some vines and some cobble because we're in the latest snapshot. And you get mossy cobble like that. And I'm going to drown whilst doing DIY stuff. Ugh. Okay, and that just makes it because, you know, the water's going to have made life grow in these rocks. I'm trying to be realistic here. As you can see, I've put vines everywhere and uh, these ferns and stuff. This melon needs to grow, but it'll only be able to grow here because I've put the fern fern there. This one will only be able to grow there when it does. This one has grown. Uh, this one will only grow there. 
Why is there an Enderman going crazy outside? And this one's growing there. Perfect. Perfect. And my tree, it's a very small tree <laughs> at the moment. I might make it a little bigger and kind of hang over this direction a little bit more. But um, let's check it out from the outside. We can go straight down here. And there's the Enderman. Go away. No, stop leaving your, your bugs around. Get off. Stop it. Stop it. Look at him walk. <laughs> His legs look really weird then. He's like doing the moonwalk. So here it is. From up here. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think I'm going to add more of these kind of um, vines. Oh, not vines. What am I talking about? These leafy kind of planty, growy, ovary things. Just to kind of make it. Because I think when you look at the dome from this angle, it just kind of looks too glassy. You know? It needs to look a little greener. A little greener in there. And I might put some... Um, some lovely vines on more of these walls around the edges as well. But that's going good. I've just realised one little thing here. Um, I've actually got this layer here all the way around the outside. Forget the vines. Forget the vines. Um, and there, there actually isn't anything useful on that layer at all. I could, in fact, lower the entire dome by one block. Which I... Obviously, would it be easier to lower the dome than it would to raise all of the floor in there and everything. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break all this down um, and make the floor, make this hill kind of come down a little bit steeper. Um, like that. And then kind of make this floor maybe about here. Come down to be this this level. Does that, that make sense? I think so. And round we go. Oh, I love getting rid of... <laughs> Love getting rid of sand with an uber, uber shovel, like that, clear it all the way around, and yeah, I'll, I'll do that off camera, of course. I often try to to uh, make you happy by doing boring things off camera and doing stupid things on camera. That's That seems to be what you enjoy, so <laughs> I'll get doing that, and we'll see if that makes it look a little bit more claustrophobic in there, because that's what I'm after. Claustrophobia, tight, yeah. Niche, niche, niche in a little niche. Nook, nook and cranny. I don't know. I'm just saying words now. I'm not even sure what they mean anymore. And there we go. All nice and lowered down. And I added some extra little leaves around as well. Similar to what we did here. Um, I don't think I like it as much, if I'm honest with you. Because I think we're using the jungle leaves. Which we worked out when we were making this dome. That um, these were the only leaf type leaves... Leave di leaves type that didn't kind of go yellowy in desert biomes. These ones do, however, and they're already quite yellowy as they are anyway, even not in a desert biome, but I think it looks quite good from the inside, but there is a lot of sort of this yellowy green around, so we might need to add more actual green. I added another tree here, sort of at the very side of the thing bending over. That looks quite good. I like that. A um, few little changes here and there. All pretty good overall. I think it looks good from the inside, but from the outside, these these blocks that are just sort of randomly placed might need to be um, those. I think they're spruce. No, birch. They're birch. Birch, birch blotch, bleed, bleaves. Birch blocks, bleaves. Yes. <laughs> I also thought we could add um, fairy lights as well, like little little tiny. Um, uh, uh, I'm back as far as I can go. Little tiny lights. Where can I add them? Let me add them somewhere. Um, just kind of dotted around. Let's just try, shall we? Let's just dot fairy lights around and see what they look like. No! Oh, I'm not going to get all my glow black. Give me all the stone back. Nope, never mind. I'll have to uh, sort that one out. Let's face from this direction. Good, because you can still see them, look. Because they stick out of the wall. They're sticky. Sticky outy. Um, let's put another one um, there. That's a good place. No! <laughs> Give it all back. <sighs> stupid, stupid things. Right, um, let's go up here. And we can put one... Oh, yeah, we can put one here because it won't get rid of the vine. Ha, <laughs> phew. I thought we might have got rid of the vine then. Because it's uh, an entity and not really a block, so it kind of doesn't mind sharing. Doesn't mind sharing with other things. It's friendly. Friendly like that. Friendly item frame. If you want a friend in the game... Pick an item frame, because it will share. It will share with you. Um, I've got, well, sort of two more to place, and I don't know where. One up there? No. Um, um, 
I think you can even put them underwater as well. I'm not going to try that. That would be crazy. Let's put another one. Why is this such a hard decision? There. Oh, you can put it on farmland. That's good. That makes it sort of do something. Um, um, if only these actually gave out light as well, that'd be perfect. And let's put the last one. I don't want to put it there. Don't make me put it there. I'm not going to put it anywhere. I'm going to defy the rules and not use all of them. <laughs> and we have got one final thing to do, and that involves this room down here. Get, let me in. Let me in the room. Uh, and this is going to be our kind of um, the actual sort of harvesting room, the actual farm part of this entire build. So what we're going to want to do is go underneath every single one of these. I accidentally stood on that and had to replant. Stand on every single one of these blocks underneath the melon. So underneath here, there'll be a sticky piston pushing upwards. And I'm going to go and do that and put put um thing sticky pistons under all of them and create some kind of underground room where I can access them all. And um and and then yeah, we'll see how we can wire that up best. Best wire that up. And now it's time we pull the redstone out and we build things to make them work. Yes. Why can I hear an end of fish? And why can I see a load of particles? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want a fish on my head, please. Ow! What? How'd you get down here? Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, he took out a lot of pain from me. Ha! Ah, let's just check there's no creepers. It was recently night time and there might be you know, like, like flesh just draped everywhere. Uh, no, no creepers. That's fine. Anyway, back to redstoning and singing. That's good. I, I've set out the plan already. Here's one piston. Um, and I think I'm going to use those to put it all in just to extend the the thing. Here's two piston. Piston two. Um, and I'm going to do this one over the top. No, I can't do that. That means it will it will fire slightly different to that one. No. Okay, we'll sort that one out. Um... Okay, I'll carry on, I'll carry on. We come over, over here. Let's do that for now. Let's see how bad it is. It might not even notice. Um, down we go. Round here. I've already laid out the plan because it took ages. This one here, boom. So we've now done f one, two, three, underneath there, four. And then we could come down here as well. Um, let's get a repeater going to just extend the thing. Um, and one there, so it travels down here, and up, see Daisy, let me up, um, into there as well, is that all of them? I feel like I've missed one out, boom, into there, wait, let me, let me, right, one, yes, remember one, I've forgotten, what was it, no, <laughs> um, uh, let me out, let me out, I can hear a dog, that's not good, two, three, four, Five. Am I doing really stupid counting here? I'm pretty sure I had six. 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 Right, okay. Here's the plan to do then. Um, th this is where I was going to put it, by the way. Look, down here. Give me back my slab. That is where the thing is. So if I put a pressure plate on here... That doesn't look like a pressure plate. Um, it, it, I might need to sort the lighting out. Whoa! Yeah, it works, as you can see. Now, let's let's try, shall we? Let's try. Let's put an item on there. This one raised. Brilliant. This one. Eh, that one raised. That one raised. This one raised. I'm on it. Yeah, this one raised. Um, oh, look, I'm going to have to c definitely cover that up. And that one raised. Oh, the item frame. Is it okay? Is that all right? Does that matter? Ah, it's on the edge of a piston head. This one, I forgot about you. I forgot you existed. Um, okay, I'll be right back. Ha ha, I discovered it. I found it. I dug more hole everywhere, which I'm going to have to fix after the episode. So this is our uh, one that came down all underneath, underneath here, remember? And um, ooh, I thought it just went to that one, but it actually has to go up to this one as well. Give me that block. Oh, there's water there. Oh, this is our secret hidden room behind the waterfall. Okay, that's interesting. This could be where we maybe access the the redstone from as well. That that could be good. Um, so what am I doing? Wait, wait, wait. Right. 
I thought we could put half slab there so we can travel redstone up. Um, redstone only travels up. Ah, well, sand falling everywhere. What? Oh, it's breaking because there's redstone. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you off. Um, and then we could put another one there. Don't break everything, please. Eh, eh, I need to get up and follow the redstone up. Um, and then we could just put a block there and have a repeater, which I have in my hand, running into that block. So the piston is just there behind that block. Perfect. Perfect. Is there anything on there? No. Let me fill fill things in. No, I'll do that at the end of the episode. That's good. Right, okay, let's do one more test and eat some food because I'm very hungry. It's going to be night time soon. Lots of problems to think about hurting my head. Right, okay, okay. Okay, let's test it again. We know they all work. The only one we want to fully test, thank you, Melon, is this one. Yes, this one worked. This one came up. Good. Fixed. Sorted. We have it working. Ha. <sighs> I've got to go and do a clean-up now, but um, if you've got any suggestions, I thought that was a creeper. Oh, my heart just just skipped a beat. <sighs> oh, it's, it is very nice and cosy in here, isn't it? Look, the view's always nice and, nice and uh, close to my face. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know down in the comments or doing whatever you like. I don't mind. Um, make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch TV as well because I have began, begun, begoon, Live streaming! Finally, I have started live streaming, so make sure if you want to catch one of those that you follow me on Twitch so you know when I'm going to do it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next one!